M1 Global presents... Up now, bantamweights. The Brazilian, Bruno Fajeda versus Tony Gravely. Making his way to the race, Tony Gravely. This is truly an amazing moment for Bruno Fajeda. And this is a huge opportunity for Tony Gravely. Gravely, tremendous reputation in this part of the United States, the South and Southeast. Looking for that one breakthrough fight. Quite possibly, this could be it. This is certainly the moment for Gravely and the moment for his opponent, the Brazilian Bruno Fajeda. Very intriguing in the bantamweight division. Gravely enters 13 and five overall, victorious in five of his last six fights. Has fought in both LFA and CFFC. Gravely though, as he faces a submission specialist telling of his five losses, he's been submitted in four of those as an MMA professional. Please welcome Bruno Ferreira. Bruno Fajeda's last pro MMA bout occurred in November 2013 and June of 2014. The same week that he signed a contract to start fighting in the United States for Legacy, he was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Fajeda beat cancer, a cancer survivor, and now his first fight back in MMA. 8-0 stands his pro MMA record. All eight of those wins occurring in Brazil, all occurring by way of first round finish. One TKO, seven submissions, six of those subs by straight armbar. Regardless of the outcome of this bout, this is a magnificent moment for Bruno Fajeda. Yeah, he's slick off of his back. And he's got uh, Ricardo Ramos, UFC fighter in his corner there, so uh, he's been getting some elite training in. In the bantamweight division, the undefeated Bruno Fajeda versus Tony Grappling. The final week bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the M1 Global USA Phantom Week Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, his record of 13 victories, apples at five defeats. He stands five feet five inches tall and weighted at 135.4 pounds. Fighting out of Radford, Virginia, Tony Gravely. His opponent fights out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu practitioner, his professional mixed martial arts record flawless at eight and zero. Oh. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighed in officially at an even 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Bruno Atleta de Cristo Ferreira. Your referee, Barry O'Neill. All right, gentlemen, went over the rules earlier. Let's have a good fight, have a clean fight. Put my constructs at all times. Most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Go to your corners. Even without the backstory, the Fajeda returning to MMA after surviving cancer, this would still be a phenomenal fight, phenomenally intriguing, even more so with that backstory. Round number one. Both fighters, as you see, in black trunks. Red glove tape for Fajeda, blue glove tape for Gravely. Fajeda immediately to the inside. Hammer fist misses from Gravely. Spinning back fist lands from Fajeda. And tellingly, Luke, when Fajeda was on his back, Gravely did not pounce. 
No, he did not. And he's a stud wrestler. He usually looks for takedowns, offensive or defensive. It doesn't really matter. And he clearly respects Fajera here because he does not want any part of that ground game. We'll see how patient referee Barry O'Neill is in this position. He's doing a good job here, kicking, softening him up, kind of killing the clock a little bit. Uh, I mean, it, either he's got to go in and start working, you know, get foot control here. There he's reaching for a foot. He's just got to be careful. Gravely actually tried to throw a right hand and punch the ankle. <laughs> That's new. Creative. Those kicks are legal. You can't hit the tailbone or the spine legally. The good stand-up from Barry O'Neill, but those kicks were all legal. Yeah, good stand-up there. To the inside. Mahena trying to throw the counter. Left hand lands from Gravely. Big left Ooh, hand again from Gravely. He's, He's got right him hand. rocked here. He's got him rocked. He needs to separate and punch. Fahetta was trying to jump guard. Now looking leg lock. Gravely again spins out. Gravely had him wobbled here. He, he needs to step back and let him up, you know? He's letting him gain, gain his wits back about himself. Gravely possibly looking leg lock. I think he's just trying to control the ankles to pass. Indeed, he does. Now trying to take the back. Fajetta too slick. Yeah, Gravely going to where he's uh, natural. Right to wrestling. Gravely controlling the arm. Fishing for a Kimura and then a key lock. Ooh. Big right hands. Three land flush. Now to the left hand. That arm bar attempt from Gravely really just a diversion. Yeah, I mean, he, he's... He's locking up the choke here. He's looking for the Dars. And through to the bicep. He's got it locked. We through looking for the Dars. Fiera doing a good job here, though, defending. Look at the leg position of Fajetta. No panic. A lot of squeeze. You see the arm through of Gravely on his own bicep. Gravely letting it go, being smart. He don't want to burn his arms out too soon. It's going to be hard to finish Fiera. He's a, he, he wants to be here on his back. Luke, and you just nailed it. On the Dars, on the guillotine, you can so easily burn your arms out. Yeah, and Gravely being smart and uh, realizing that and letting it go. But these Big shots right hand are and another. Handy. You saw twice Fajetta's head bounce off of the canvas after getting the full force of the Gravely right hand. Another Gravely right. Here he's got the foot control, controlling those feet so he don't catch one of those kicks. That's what Fierra is looking to do here. 140 remaining round one. Very technical, very tactical. Yep, he was able to Big find hammer fist. Oh, those are thudding shots from Gravely. Man, those hammer fists are brutal. These guys are laying them in there today. They have it trying to sit through. When S grip now going gable grip, that's a very defensive grip from the bottom for Fajetta. Tough to sweep from that position. Fajera's More got big him. shots. He's got him rocked. He's hurting him. He's Gravely hurting him opening here, up. Man. You see the base. Gravely on his knees. Referee Barry O'Neill taking a closer look. A lot of time remaining. 60 seconds to go, round number one. Oof. Gravely is not playing. Gravely can see the finish line, trying to reach it here in the opening round. Gravely. Hammer fist again. Just brutal with these punches, man. One way to defeat a jujitsu practitioner, high level in MMA, don't play jujitsu. He's got him. He's got him. He's over. Big it's over. And that is it. It's over, man. The ground and pound to the finish. And the biggest win of his career for Tony Gravely, just like that. What a win. You got to give it up for Fiera being that tough and taking so much punishment off his back. I mean, he ate hammer fist after hammer fist and just stayed in there. He was hurt, but wow, he showed heart. Clearly, Coming back from testicular cancer, you can see why that man is a survivor and why he is a fighter. Give it up to that guy right there. What an inspiration. And, and gravely showing respect. That's a really nice moment between these two fighters.
Obvious disappointment for Bruno Fajeda. His first pro MMA bout since November 2013, but clearly he's beaten cancer. His MMA career, despite this loss, fully back on track. Gravely with the confidence to get down there with a dangerous guy like Fiera. I mean, kudos to him for getting in there and getting it done in round one. That shows. And as we'll see on the ground, Gravely not getting sucked into play jiu-jitsu on the ground with the Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, Bruno Fajera. Yeah, man, he's just softening him up here on the ground and finding those places for these right here. These hammer fists. That up kick right there, boom, hammer fist. These are really what did it for uh, Gravely here. Those hammer fists were so powerful. That whipping motion is no joke. Controlling the hands, bam, right there. He's out, it's over. He's just gonna follow it up. The ref stops it. Great fight right there, man. Outstanding timing on the stoppage from referee Barry O'Neill, and that was quality start to finish from Tony Gravely. That was fully into 10-8 territory on that round. And that is a career-defining win for Tony Gravely, just 26 years old. His career is going one direction, that is up. Here's Mike Markham. Referee Barry O'Neill halts the bout at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of the opening round due to excessive strikes. Your winner by technical knockout, Tony Gravely! Joined by the victor, Tony Gravely. Very, very impressive performance. Congratulations, first of all. Dangerous man that you stepped inside of the rage with. Undefeated as a professional at 8 0. Was it difficult to prepare for this fight? This gentleman, due to some health issues, hadn't had a fight in quite a number of years, actually. Yeah, it was. Um, honestly, I didn't even know much about him other than he was a great grappler. I knew he was 8 0, and I knew, uh, you know, I'm solid on the ground, but I was trying to avoid staying in his guard. I know he's a great jujitsu. The man's tough. He's a he's a cancer survivor, so um, I knew he was going to come in, and I was going to have to either choke him out or knock him out to stop him because I knew he's going to keep coming. Again, very impressive victory over an extremely dangerous opponent. What does this victory mean at this point in your career? Oh, it's great. Any any victory at this point, um, I feel like I'm I'm getting really close to that next step, the UFC. So um, every win. I mean, every, every win is big for me. Congratulations, your victor, Tony Gravely. We're joined by Bruno Fajeda. Bruno, for those of you who, for those of our, those in our audience, excuse me, who are not aware, due to some health issues, you are a cancer survivor, and because of that, you had to take several years off of MMA. I believe you hadn't fought since 2013. You did not get the result tonight, but what did it mean just to compete inside of the M1 Global USA race this evening? I had a dream to fight here in the United States. In 2014, I had signed up to fight Legacy FC. In the same week, I discovered that I was with cancer. I'll translate it. Uh, so his dream was a uh, fight on U.S. Uh, and he had a chance to, a chance to fight on U.S.A. But he, he knew about the cancer and he had to start a fight with, uh, with the cancer. So, yeah. Hoje eu estou aqui realizando esse sonho, graças a Deus, para a honra e glória do Senhor. Desculpa, se não lutei nem um pouquinho que nem eu lutava. Obrigado ao Tony pela luta, realizou o sonho da minha vida. Obrigado a todo mundo aí que torceu por mim. Obrigado, gente. De coração. Todo mundo. São José do Rio Parto, Campinas, do Brasil. Tá? Amo vocês. So, uh, he beat the cancer and today he's, uh, he's making his dream happen and he's very thankful for everybody who, uh, 
you know, who support him. And thanks M1 Global for let him make his dream happen. And thanks everybody for for watching his fight and for supporting him. And thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations, sir, for resuming your career and valiantly stepping inside the M1 Global USA rage here tonight. You are truly an inspiration to us all. Uh, he's gonna come back uh, much stronger than today, and he's gonna make a better show and improve it and be better every time, all right? Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruno Atleta de Cristo Ferreira. Pure class in defeat for Bruno Ferreira. Pure class in victory for Tony Gravely. Gravely now victorious in six of his last seven bouts, and again, that is a real milestone win. Victorious by way of first round TKO, Tony Gravely defeats Bruno Fajeda.